I would like to begin this video by showcasing this brave man and a horse. Unmatched heroics right there, just unbelievable. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the age-old statement. That's kinda gay, bro. That's kinda gay. Ha! <laughs> gay! Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just about this. Are you ready? My girlfriend is trans, but I'm not gay. Okay. This is Jesse. If you can't read those tattoos there on his hands, they actually say, uh, dicks are delicious, but I'm not gay. You might be gay. All right, if you're running around sucking all the dicks, you might be a little gay. Talking about swallowing big members. I don't, this has got nothing to do with that. I am on tour right now, touring regional Australia. Here are my dates, have a look at those. I'm going absolutely everywhere. I've also just started selling shows overseas as well. Head to my website, isaacbutterfield.com. Go and grab some tickets. And now, back to the dude who is definitely straighter than anything, but dicks are also very nice. He fell in love with Cassidy. I'm a proud trans woman. Hey, looks like a woman, no doubt. But mate, I'm sorry, okay? I am sorry. The caveat to all of this, the only thing that needs to be asked is simply, is there a dick involved? If there is a penis involved, if you're playing, hide the sausage with your girl. If you're letting your girlfriend put her tube inside you. If you're letting your beautiful partner pin you down and take you to the highest of highs with a big old skin rocket, you might not be straight, big fella. That's all we're saying. It's just strange for you to deny it, all right? And that's why anyone's talking about this. If you said, I like girl dicks, you'd be like, hey, okay, cool. Good on you. Enjoy. But when you're wiping jizz from your mouth and you go, hey, 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 I'm the straightest man alive. Everyone's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Jesse was raised in a strict conservative family. One thing I was definitely taught was a natural woman is who you're supposed to be with. And if you're with anybody else, you're going to be out of this household and out of this family. Fucking nice chin strap, bruz. How about you grow a mustache immediately? I'm Jesse, and this is my partner, Cassidy, who's a trans woman. Jesse and I met off of Instagram. The first thing I saw was muscles. And so I was like. Cool, so she saw his muscles and she was like, wow, how beautiful and attractive. And her dick got so hard and now they're in love. What a fucking modern day Romeo and Juliet love story that is. The Capulets and the Suck My Girl Coculus. <laughs> Gorgeous. We were about three or four messages in and she said, hey, I just want to let you know that, you know, I'm sorry if it changes the dynamic of things, but I'm a trans woman. And I said, no, 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 sweetheart. You don't have to apologize for that. You're just a special kind of woman. Yeah, with a willy, which is fine, but it's there. We faced a lot of judgment when we started our relationship. I think the main misconception that people have with our relationship is that he's gay. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm being way too negative about this whole situation. I actually think there are a lot of positives about dating a woman with a cock, all right? Think about it. You don't have to put the seat down on the toilet anymore, ever again. In fact, you can both stand there and have little sword fights and you can fight each other. If you're into Star Wars, it could be like, you can play Darth Vader, I could be Luke Skywalker. We go, zoo, zoo, zoo. Gorgeous, wonderful, lovely. You could fucking punch each other in the balls. We used to call it sack whacking at school. You could sack whack each other in the kitchen. What a gorgeous fucking way to live your life. Wonderful. It would be a shame if she had a bigger dick than you. Uh, that would be a very sad face time indeed. I couldn't help but think it was my fault for all the backlash that Jesse was receiving but we persevered through everything and it was something that really made us stronger. He wouldn't get any backlash if he wasn't standing there going, I'm so straight, I'm straighter than anyone alive, whilst jerking off his girl. <laughs> Just don't make a big deal about it. Don't stand there and do a front fucking double bicep screaming, I'm not gay. <laughs> and then no one would say a fucking thing. At first, they were shocked because the alpha masculine tatted up male 
is now dating a transgender woman. Quick note, if you refer to yourself male or female as an alpha, you're not an alpha, you're a piece of shit. After watching this video, there is not a shadow of doubt in my mind that this man is not an alpha, but a fuckwit. And you probably think that's where this video ends, but you're wrong. Because we have an answer to the question. Because there are some people out there that suggest maybe this lady doesn't have a big old dick. Maybe she doesn't. Well, I've got the answers. Are you ready for them? You say you're straight, but then you also have acknowledged that you'll suck her dick. Correct. I mean, I just truly like... Very straight. I, I really just look at her like a woman, whether she has a dick or not. Personally, like... It's got to be difficult to look at a person as a woman while you've got tears coming out of your eyes and her massive 12 inch cock is hitting the back of your throat. Like, I just imagine that's difficult, all right? And I'm not in his shoes, you know? I'm not there with my girlfriend's cum all face. I don't know, all right? I'm just saying, I imagine you have to have a pretty good imagination to look at her as a complete woman. That's all I'm saying. It, it even looks girly to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's different than mine. Right. I got a big, I got a big. I'm, my, my only fans is called the hung plumber for a reason. Right. I'm, yeah. Hung cool. this, she's got this tiny little thing from the hormones. Well, yeah, like, the hormones then, make it small and yes. make it like not get hard, right? No, not at all. It, I literally. If she's real like, turned on. If I get a real turned on, yeah. yeah. You might see it you poking know? up. Yeah, you can get it hard if you get a real turned on. Not gay though. Yeah, so. you'll see it through the dress. Mm. <laughs> Get high, no, I'm, I love it. Holy shit, this is, I'm still learning. There's so many things I don't know about the trans. And there's nothing wrong with you loving it. Like, that's fine. No one cares. Just don't defend yourself by saying you're not gay. You're a little gay. That, at which, good. To the gay people watching this, I wish you all the cocks and all the pussy if you're a lesbian. All right? All of it. Take it all. Take it all. But. Don't. Why are you arguing against it? Date yourself, brother. In my heart, no, I would never date a gay man. You, you don't date gay man, but no. you, you said you fuck guys. I have, bro. I'm allowed to. I, and I was and saying in the content like. world, okay. right? I don't. I, I'm bro. I yeah. So now you fuck other dudes. What is this? Who are you? I swear to God, look at my face. I'm bro. looking in at my you. heart. Yeah. I don't feel gay. But that's it. Do you feel gay when there's a dick in you? You still have penis and everything, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'll okay. pleasure her. I'll do whatever I gotta do to pleasure her. Yeah, you said you suck that motherfucker every day. Absolutely. You hey, boy, you gay. It's okay. That's cool. You gotta accept that one. Yeah, you both. But 100%. It's fine. It's fine. No one cares. Who gives a shit if someone's gay? No one. I'll say this, though. He is motivational, all right? He is an alpha. All right, I take it back. He is an alpha. And according to his Instagram, he is a CEO. And I'll add this, all right? If you're not motivated for life, there's nothing more motivational than a man without a shirt on who likes dicks but's not gay. This guy. The kids that you here today, do not ever try to become the person that they want you to be. You be the person that you want to be. Because if you're trying to be that person they want you to be, you can't be somebody that doesn't exist. It's never going to fucking happen. But the best person you could be is who you truly want to be. Oh, by the way, he's doing OnlyFans. If you didn't hear that in one of the last videos. I got a big I got a big I'm, My OnlyFans is called The Hung Plumber for a reason. Master of jerk off blowjob instructional videos. Straight hung plumber. Okay. I was confused too. Cassidy educated me and said, no, 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 honey. You're straight. I'm, don't you look at me like a woman? I said, yeah. She's like, so where do you find the word gay? And that's when I realized, yeah, I'm not gay at all. I'm. I'm an alpha male that's attracted to femininity and that's exactly what I got right here. And it doesn't matter if my girl shoots a big load of my face, oh, I'm straight and I'll fight you about it. To reiterate, on this video, nothing wrong with being gay or trans or into trans girls, whatever, all right? Just why are we arguing about it? Why? If you like dicks and you're a dude, you're a little gay, all right? End of fucking story. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks. To the revoir, bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check this out. This is Better Man, my new book. Uh, over the past 18 months or so, I worked on this, and I tell you what, I'm very, very proud of it. It is a manifesto on modern masculinity, what it is to be a man, what it is to be a good person and a better version of yourself. It's not a memoir, it's a man moi. Ladies and gents, I think you will absolutely enjoy it. It's not an autobiography by any means. It does talk about my life and what I've 
gone through. I've been through a lot of mental health issues in the past. Well, not a lot. I was never fully schizophrenic, but I've had some issues. Uh, but it details how I dealt with those and continue to deal with those whilst doing stand-up and videos and raising a family and, and all of those different types of things. And ladies and gents, I think you will really, really enjoy this. I spent a lot of time on it. I, I really worked hard on it. And it means a great deal to me to now have it in my hands, ready for you guys to see it, uh, read it, and uh, become a part of it. Pre-order the book right now. Let's push our way to number one on the chart. So head to IsaacButterfield.com right now and grab yourself a copy of Better Man. Thank you.